Hey yo guys, I'm back here to give you my predictions and preview and maybe some other stuff along the way of uh, UFC 94 for sure, uh, which is tonight. Um, you know, UFC likes to come bring it hard on Super Bowl weekend and well for sure they've done it this time as you know they have a fight that you know a lot of people are going to care about. I think they did a pretty good job with the uh, UFC primetime. Uh, to me, the best episode was the first one. I don't know about you. I did like how they ended the uh, last episode, you know, with them showing, you know, the packing and the, the whole music type deal build towards them coming. I thought that I did a fantastic job there, but I don't know uh, about your guys' opinions on the show. I thought it was a fun show. Uh, should maybe increase an extra amount of people to order the sh fight. Uh, but we'll see. Um... I guess before I get into the UFC 94 predictions, uh, I should say uh, condolences to the Gracie family as Helio Gracie uh, passed away on this uh, this week um, in his sleep. Uh, he was, what, 95 or 94 years old, uh, you know, a pioneer of the sport, so uh, my condolences there. Uh, you know, he basically led all his sons to be greatness and help. He, he's the pioneer of the legendary Gracie name, so... My condolences there. But anyways, let's get to the predictions of our USC 94 card as, you know, we get, the MMA fans get, you know, the old school type boxing type card. You know, we got Hagler Hearns, uh, Hagler, um, Leonard, uh, Leonard and Hearns. Uh, really, you get that type of fight with St. Penn. But we have to go to the bottom from the top as we always do. So let's do that. Uh, the first fight will be Carl the Heat Parisian versus Dong Hyung Kim. Uh, really, to me, this fight, this could be an interesting fight. I mean, is uh, you know, we haven't seen Parisian since last April when, you know, he got beaten down by uh, Diego Alves. So, I mean, we don't know how well he can recuperate, but we know that he has, you know, anxiety or panic attack problems. Um, and he doesn't have that mental focus in there. And I don't think, you know, him... Him having that kind of an issue before a fight uh, will probably, you know, be to his downside, especially with someone like Don Hyung Kim, who's a really good fighter. Um, he gets overrated to a bit by some people, but he's a real strong fighter, and that's why I think that I'm going to have to take uh, Don Hyung Kim to get, you know, a TKO in the first. I don't know if uh, Parisian can cope with that well, you know. Going in, I mean, he's got, you know, the open those jitter type things, and I, he, I don't know how well he can cope at all, so, like, with that, that type of issues, I mean, panic attacks, I mean, that's just not good, and I don't think you want to have that going in the fight with someone as talented as Dong Hyun Kim, so Dong Hyun Kim to get a TKO. And then we go to the next fight, which is actually a fight that I'm thinking could, could be really exciting, which would be the, a lightweight belt between Nate Diaz and Clay uh, Guida. To me, this fight is going to be, you know, fun, and I think that's something that we all need to put into consideration as, you know, this fight, this whole card's built around one fight, but you have a fight that, you know, maybe a lot of people don't know that much about, you know, Nate Diaz. Uh, I think they would know a little more, more about Clay Guida as he's been on the fight night, uh, UFC fight night cards and the free stuff, so maybe he's got a bit more, you know, of a fan following than, you know, maybe a Diaz would, but still, uh, my thoughts here are that, you know, Diaz, his game has been, you know, improving vastly, uh, I have to say that, um, I think, you know, if it goes to the ground, that's going to be a Guida thing, uh, dominations, but I think his stand-up and, you know, his striking has really improved, so, um, I have, I'm going to probably, I'm going to take Diaz, Diaz has beaten, you know, the likes of Pellegrino, and, you know, he beat Nier, so I'm going to have to go with, uh, Diaz, I mean, Guida had a real strong performance, you know, against Mac Danzig at the last fight night, or not the last fight night card, but, uh, I think that was the last fight night card, I should say, excuse me, uh, where, you know, he just kept taking, uh, down Danzig and, you know, putting on some ground and pound, you know, tried some submission attempts, but, you know, the takedowns are really played to his factor. I still see this one being a big factor for, uh, Clay Guida in this fight, and I'm, I think that could be a big factor, but I just think, you know, all around, I'm gonna have to take, you know, Diaz and the striking ability to probably get a submission. I think, you know, Diaz can maybe wrestle out of, you know, some of the takedowns much more than, you know, a Danzig could, so, uh, that's why I'm gonna take Nate Diaz. Uh, the next fight will be a light heavyweight belt between Stefan Bonner and jo John Jones. To me, 
John Jones is one of the most underrated people going in. A lot of people are going to take Stefan Bonner just, you know, on his track record with the UFC, but we haven't seen Bonner fight in a very long time, you know, with the whole thing where he got suspended for steroids and the injuries, the nagging injuries. Um, so, I mean, a lot of people will pick him, but I think John Jones is so underrated. I mean, he he's had a lot of activity in the sport of uh, since he made his debut in uh, April 2008, uh, so he's fought at least seven times, and he got his big win when he defeated Andre Guzmo, uh, who's a very talented fighter, uh, and you know, a lot of people don't know that much about him, but Jones was able to beat him, and that's something a lot of people don't realize how big it is. Bonner we haven't seen in a very long time, and I think, you know, while he's definitely training, that inactivity is going to, you know, fall on a, be a big negative him and I'm gonna take John Jones to get a decision victory over Stefan Bonner um, I think you know Bonner is you know gonna be the better type type wrestler here but I just think you know Jones's striking will be fun not fun uh, strong in the fight so uh, I think you know if he can keep it there and you know you know avoid the takedowns I think he could be able to do that um, and you know just the fact that he's an active striker I mean he could even potentially you know use his to uh, get a TKO here, but I just think he won't have enough. I think Bonner has a strong enough chin to withstand Jones's blows, but uh, John Jones will be my uh, pick. Then we go to the next fight, which is a fight a lot of people are kind of getting wishy-washy about, I've noticed. It's uh, a light heavyweight bout between Leota Machida and Tiago Silva. You know, a lot of people are out there, man, uh, I, I don't want Silva to win, I don't want Machida to win. Really know for sure the UFC uh, doesn't want Machida to win uh, just because I think he's a boring fighter. But to me, I think I'm going with Machida as you know. I think Machida's just a slight bit better than uh, a Tiago Silva at this rate. Um, I mean, uh, Machida's fought you know some real strong competition, um, and you know he's just a complete package. I mean, he can do some stuff. I mean, yeah, he's methodical and slow, but he, he that's his type of style. I mean. Nothing wrong with, you know, being a safe fighter instead of, you know, taking the gambles, which, you know, a lot of fighters would do. So, I mean, you can't really hate on him there. Um, I think Silva, uh, Machida has the powerful type striking. Now, definitely Silva has some strong striking, but I think, you know, he'll be overmatched in that department. Uh, takedowns, I'll go to Machida. And I think, you know, Silva will get, you know, get defeated here. And, you know, if Silva gets defeated, I think he'll learn some lessons and be East in the near future, so that's why I'm taking him, but, you know, a lot of people are saying that if Machida wins, that the UFC is going to be pissed. I mean, wouldn't the UFC be kind of pissed at both guys for, you know, how slow and boring Machida's type style is, and, you know, Silva's just as slow, but let's not forget, uh, Silva was the person who beat uh, the star in the making for the UFC in Houston Alexander, ending his hot streak, so uh, they kind of may have some grudges for that as, you know, Silva ends the streak of, you know, potential new superstar. And then we go to the main event. The fight everybody is looking for. This is going to be the welterweight championship on the line as George Rush St. Pierre defends against the prodigy BJ Penn. Uh, really, this fight is going to be just awesome. Um, the fight they had a couple of years ago was just so close. I mean, it's just so Call. I mean, to me, I think the decision was right as BJ. Won, I don't know, excuse me. George won the last two rounds, and that was just to me was enough to uh, get the victory in that uh, that particular encounter. But it's been a long time since they fought. Both men have vastly improved since then. Um, BJ's improved a lot, but I think you know George has just gotten the all roundness maybe just a bit better. Um, to me, how do I see this one going down? Well, I think George has the wrestling ability fight goes to the ground, which I definitely do think it will, that's going to be GSP right there. Um, you know, in the last fight, there was a big st stand-up advantage for BJ Penn. I don't think, th I think it'll be, you know, maybe a slight advantage, but I think, you know, uh, GSP's got, you know, the str a st stronger striking than he had, so um, I think, you know, BJ could be in trouble there. You know, with the whole thing with the reality show trying to play that BJ isn't training out that's just for television purposes, uh, trying to make BJ seem like, you know, the massive heel uh, going into this fight. But, you know, I just think that, you know, the fight will go to the ground, George will control the wrestling, and he can, he's got probably the better slicker submission game than uh, a pen. Uh, so that's why I'm going to take a GSP. I'm going to take a GSP TKO, which may be awkward. I think, you know, he'll probably, you know, use some of his jitsu and, you know, get a takedown. 
What am I trying to say here? He's going to use his uh, wrestling and probably, you know, ground and pound into some strikes, a TKO from strikes, and George will retain, and, you know, I think I just maybe think it's a bit too much for BJ to come up from 155 to 170. Um, I mean, he's fought there before, but that's a long time ago, so that's why I'm going to have to go with George St. Pierre. Really looking forward to this card. I mean, it's a great card for any, if you're just a sports fan, to get you into the weekend of the Super Bowl. Um, which should be a fun game in that aspect as well. So those are my thoughts on UFC 94 predictions. Uh, always leave your feedback. Uh, always like to know who you guys think is going to win, what's going to happen. Just your opinions there. Um, other than that, I plan to, you'll see my review about this uh, tomorrow. And try and do a Q&A. Yes, I have a Q&A ready to go, but I just haven't been motivated enough to do one. Uh, that's partially my doing, but uh, if you still want to send questions, that'll be for the next batch you can, you know, the email account or my YouTube inbox. Uh, let's just try and keep stuff away from, you know, me predicting, you know, cards uh, like, you know, WrestleMania or anything like that. Any, any card, like predicting of cards, let's try and keep questions away from there. Let's try and keep a question away about Kurt Angle and MMA as I have another question about that. I will answer it. I got one in the first Q&A that's actually been posted, but I will not be answering anything like that. Um, and let's try and get some broader questions. Um, I've kind of set up some new rules where um, let's do two questions apiece from each of you. Uh, let's try and get some you know, broader questions. I love the wrestling questions. I'll post the type of questions of wrestling, I guess, uh, in the description box. And, um, but let's try and, you know, do two questions a piece. Let's try and add more, you know, mixed martial arts, more boxing type questions. I mean, I got enough of them for this Q&A, but you know, let's try and broaden the Q&A out just, you know, more so from wrestling. Uh, but I love the fact that you guys keep sending me questions. I think that's cool that, you know, you want to know my opinion on some stuff. Um, but anyways, uh, that's it for me. Uh, I'm just really excited about this weekend, um, as a busy weekend in the world. Is, well, at least Sunday, there's no pay-per-view. It's just, you know... The biggest football game of the year, so I'm excited about that. So, anyways, that's it for me. I'm out. Peace.